This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar providing an overview of effects in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to add and modify keyframes to animate an element. A keyframe is a specific setting for a specific parameter at a specific point in time that creates a change during playback. Virtually every setting in Final Cut can have keyframes applied. And when we work with keyframes, we always work with keyframes in pairs. There's always a starting keyframe and an ending keyframe. I picked two shots that are wildly different in color, so it's easy to see what the differences are. I want to keyframe a move of this clip. So let's just play some games here for a second. Let's select the clip. And the first thing that I'm going to do is turn on the transform setting and figure out what I want to do. I want to have this be smaller and I want it rotated and I'm going to put it up here. I'm building a picture postcard. So that's my first effect. I want it to start full screen. Oh, we've got to do one more. No, we'll start full screen and have it pull back. So that's my first move. So I select the clip, go up to the transform setting, and I've changed the position of the clip. I've changed its rotation. I've changed its scale. So I've clicked all these keyframes. But notice that I created my finished effect first. Because now it's easy to go back to the start of the clip here and say, I want to create a keyframe. And the way that Final Cut works is an uh, image is centered when X is 0. It's rotated. It, it is not rotated when rotation is 0. And it's scaled when scale is at 100%. It's easy, easy to reset a clip to its starting points because it's always 0 or 100%. And now as I play this, it flies back into that shape. Now, the cynical among you would say, Larry, you've got stuff that you're shooting over the edge, so I could go down to Spatial Conform and get this to fill. So now it's filled, and now it flies back, which is kind of cool, except it's too big. So I select the clip, go back up to Transform, and you notice there's now this arrow here. This arrow says, go back to a previous keyframe. Go forward to a keyframe. Go back, go forward, go back, go forward. I'm going to change the scale. There we go. Because the changing the spatial conform changed the size. It starts full screen and flies back. Really nice. I'm going to have it sit there. Let's sit on that keyframe for a second. I'm going to have it sit there for half a second. So I'm at 804. I'm going to go to 820. I'm looking at the time code right here and set another keyframe for everything. I set these manually, which means that it's going to stay there and just sit for half a second. Then it, over to here, I want to have the shape move. And as soon as I start dragging it, it adds keyframes for the parameters which have been changed. So I only have to set them manually when the shape is not moving. And I'm going to go to here and set more keyframes. And then I'm going to go to the end, right there, and bring it up full screen. So this goes to 0, 0, 0, 100%. And now let's look at the whole thing. Ta-da! And we missed, oh, hush. We missed one right at the top, so let's go to here. I forgot to set a rotation to zero. Okay, now let's try it one more time. There it goes. Starts full screen, flies back, drifts over, and stops. Let's do one more thing as long as we're here. Let's go to that keyframe where it holds position. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says Distortion and show that. Distortion allows me to play all kinds of weird games with the clip. I'm just going to do something really wacky and set keyframe here and go to the keyframe where it holds still again 
and set more distortion keyframes. And then go in the middle, right about there. And now I'm going to take and select distort and grab this corner, drag it there. Grab that corner and drag it here. Grab this corner, drag it up here, and that corner, drag it down there. Because why not? And play it back. And now it starts to morph its way into something totally different until it hits there. Now, I'm not saying that that's <laughs> a work of art. But you got to admit it's different. All too often we think of ourselves solely as being in 2D. But adding in distortion can add all kinds of interesting dimensional effects that you may not have thought of. A keyframe is a point of change during playback. And every parameter inside Final Cut, not just here in the video inspector, but just about everywhere, we can change keyframes. And here's another cool thing. Look at this. If I select a clip and type Control V, Control V displays the video animation bar. This shows all of my keyframes over time. There's my three distortion keyframes. Here's my transform keyframes. And I can grab this, for instance, here, and simply grab that keyframe and drag it to change the timing so it looks like Ta-da! Or I can change the timing of one of these. Or I can say, turn off the distortion keyframes. Just disable them so I don't see them. And now the clip behaves normally. Or turn them back on again. To enable the video animation is Control-V. Also one for audio, which is Control-A, which allows me to add keyframes to my audio clips. If I want to get rid of all the effects in a clip, Select the clip, go to the Edit menu, and say Remove Effects, and everything is back to normal. And to lose the on-screen controls, click Done. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this training, please visit my store at LarryJordan.com slash store, and look for Webinar 300. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks. <laughs>